Let the world 
to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. I will lift my eyes unto the hill from which cometh my help. And my help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. From first, everyone standing. Everyone standing. We'll be reading from First Corinthians, the thirteenth chapter. First Corinthians, thirteenth chapter. We'll also be reading from Matthew, the twentieth chapter, <coughs> verses one through four. First Corinthians, thirteen, starting with verse three. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. And though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaulteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Where there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now three, three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Matthew 20, verse 1. 
For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. May the Lord a blessing to his red word. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh.
why you young people don't hunger and thirst to feel this thing. Just like on your dance floor, you gotta get with it. You gotta get with it and you gotta get up off of it, come off the wall, and start getting with it, start clapping. You ought to want to get with it. You ought to want it to get hold of you. <laughs> you ought to want to break the sound barrier praise. nothing to do with how holy you are. I'm just thankful. The Lord respects people that thank him. He gives you favor just because you thank him. Uh, one thing about praising God when the spirit of the Lord in spite of who you are and what you have been as favor when the Spirit of the Lord gets on you anyhow. That means I'm still with you. I'm, I... That means I, I, I'm still with you. Now just listen to me. That's all he's letting you know. I'm still with you. Uh, I'm still working with you. God respects the soul that said, I just owe him. He don't owe me nothing. He's given me more than I deserve. I, 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 I owe him. Yeah, like they do, don't get me started. I got to preach. Ah. Miracles are levels of healing. <laughs> Lord, I feel. <laughs> there are levels. Yes. Last Sunday, we got on the Holy Ghost spaceship and went on. Out. We went way out. We, we on that. Oh, have mercy. Mama going to be upset at, at y'all. Oh, Jesus. Time. But I have to tell you what he said. I conferred with the other lady, Miss Sprinkle, to make sure I wasn't hearing something crazy. But the Spirit of the Lord kept right. He kept ringing it everywhere. I don't care what I do to this church. I love them because they always come up praising. They just come up shouting. And and this morning. I heard the enemy, he said, the devil has been before me about this church, about you people individually. And he said, when they come to me, I said, no, they come up shouting every time. I don't care what I do to them. I don't care what I let you do to them. They come up shouting, and you got the ambassador mark. So what you want, you just praise God for it. Give me a praise. All you want to go to school. Some of y'all don't want nothing. You can pay. Ah ha ha You can pay for your four years of college with a praise. You can pay for your master degree, said the Lord, with a praise. Uh, I've set up a blessing plan in cathedral. You can pay for your college education now in the bank of heaven with a praise. Ooh, that's straight from heaven. You can pay. Yeah. Yeah, you can pay. Do you hear me, young people? You can pay for your college education. Your mom and daddy don't have to have enough money to save. Care about them cutting back on grants and 
loans. I want the young people here, don't claim grants. I mean loans, claim grants. You don't need a whole lot of loans. You don't need $33,000 worth of loans to start paying back as soon as you get out and this day and time don't have no job. And then they're going to catch up with you and at the worst time in your economic life, they're going to say you need to start, you, the in, and the interest is very high. You all had to start paying two and $300 back on your a month, amen. If you just listen to me, Ambassador of the Lord, you can pay for whatever you need through praise. Mm. See, the Lord don't need your money. The church needs your money. The Bible says he inhabits, he walks to and fro among us. He's walking the pews right now. We're going to hear a testimony about money in a minute. Amen. See, we go about prospect a little bit different because some people have forsaken living right, preaching living right. You don't need no 100% prosperity sermon. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. Seek to live right at any cost. Come on, Malcolm. At any cost, live right. I'm back again. At any cost, live right. I don't care how much you swell up and how much you hurt and how much your body ache. If cold showers and lifting weights didn't do it, I dare to get a shout in the Holy Ghost. You don't have to embarrass yourself by messing up the greatest gift that God gave you. You don't have to embarrass yourself. We need some young people that can testify. We need a generation of young men to testify. I didn't have no babies. Till I got married. I need some men to testify. I don't have no babies here, baby there, baby there, everywhere, just because I was in the service. You don't need to make no skeletons in the closet. You don't have to. This is to the nation. Just stop listening to all that phony stuff. Your hair ain't gonna fall out and you ain't gonna go crazy and you ain't gonna rot. You go mess around that little, all these children you have out of wedlock. You already crazy. Crazy don't mean you're locked up. Ain't no more space. They putting up with that going away stuff. And you heard him say they're supposed to be healing here. And you deliberately stay away to make him a lie. And that's why God broke your body down. Come home, just like you joined them churches. Uh -oh. Come home, just like you wanted opposition. Come home. You need to bring your behinds home. Your healing is still here. Arthritis, all that broke down phony stuff. Come home. That is true prophecy. The Lord gave me that message, amen. It's time you tell all these here people, some of y'all keep up with it, you telling the message is, don't worry about them getting up. I told them when they left. For whatever reason, the devil fool you out. They try to act like I did something to them. All I've done is preach the word and try to love the hell out of people. But their healing, I told you, I'm not no lying prophet. I don't care, and I'm we on TV, I don't care who you under. This is where you were planted. Some of you, I spoke a word over you when you came in here. You got saved on this ministry. Your healing is here. I don't care. I'm not doing nothing. The man of God or the woman of God you under does not have your medicine. God does not transfer the medicine cabinets. I paid a special price. Everybody don't have the same track. Everybody don't pay the same price. Nine gifts. Everybody don't have the same gifts. Just because you're on the person that's a good organizer does not mean that they paid the price 
for the power of miracles. Amen. The power of miracles may work in finance, but you and many of you, the Lord is beating your behind with sickness. Break your pride down and get to, if you want to be here, I told you that when you left here, you're going to leave your healing and your prosperity. Run, raise your hand and say, I'm still in the blessed station. And all this lying stuff, looking at these are still here, ask them, they're still in that mess. Come on here now. We, we, we still healthy looking. Amen. You know we look good. Amen. I ain't going to take it back. We're young over here. And we healthy over here. And we prophets over here. All these lying Negroes, the door ain't never been shut over here. Amen. The Lord is still blessing in a miraculous way. Some of y'all been suffering ever since you left here. You and all your children standing on the edge of night. You better come and get in the guiding light so God can take you to a better place, another world. Ain't nobody trying to cut nobody. This is where you were planted. I've been needing to say that for the last couple of months. This is where you're playing it. I need to tell you all you people, don't let the devil fool you out of here. Amen. I did to not to eat. And, uh, even though I could feel hungry, just something wouldn't let me eat. And I didn't know why I was especially fasting. I always fast. But, but I wanted to understand that many kinds of healing and many kinds of, let me say this here, Many sicknesses that are laid on you. That's why the devil tries to take advantage through. Give me my red mic too. Let me keep my red mic on. That's why the devil tries to take advantage of many of you through. Keep both of them on. Them. The devil tries to take advantage of you by trying to get you to go to these Cleo people. They just feed it for these root working people. If the devil is imitating it, that he can take something off of you, that must mean he's nothing but an imitator, but he can't duplicate. He's going to charge you money to go and get some powder. A strange looking curved root. Looks strange. Look like it looks funny. St. John the Conqueror. Mysterious. Pay money when your healing is here. Now, the reason they're imitating that is because many of these sicknesses, I have no doubt that many things that most of cancers, I don't know about all, but most cancers certainly have a demon behind them. Now, that doesn't mean that you're demon possessed or you done did no sin. Remember, sin has tainted the air the ground we walk on, the food that grows in the ground, sin, when Adam and Eve opened the door, the whole earth was cursed. But God has given us power. So many diseases or medicine wouldn't cure them anyway. In the Old Testament, many sicknesses, they had no cure. Now, they tried to teach me in a certain area of theology, in a certain school of thought, that these healings stopped because they said there was no longer any need. But I want you to realize that medicine still has not been able to cure. Medicine does not cure AIDS. So when leprosy, now they have sulfur drugs for leprosy, but there are other diseases that medicine can't, and there are cancers of all sorts. I don't know how many different, hundreds of different cancers. And many of them sometimes under treatment and radiation, they go away, but they come back, and many times people suffer more from the radiation treatment trying to make them live longer in pain and agony. And all this doing just make them live a little longer in pain and agony, they die anyway. 
but God has a cure. I don't know, keep the red mic calm. Let me just do a little bit. I know you want some. Money. First of all, I need to establish in your fact. Uh, let me, uh, give me that scripture I gave you. The Lord, I am the Lord, thy physician. I am Jehovah Rophekah. Just going to do just a little bit. And, amen. Then we, then, again, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on with it. Come on, come on. Come on. Some of y'all to read it. Come on, someone to read it's good. Tell me where to turn to. Exodus 15 and 26. Exodus 15, chapter, verse 26. I want to underline it. This is your medical prescription. This will help you save doctor bills. Just as fast, a few years ago, TB was killing us as a people because of poverty and dampness and unsanitary conditions. And then it disappeared and then certain diseases came along and all of a sudden a new form of tuberculosis came, is on the scene that the medicine they treated tuberculosis with before can't cure comes from the AIDS virus letting in a new type of tuberculosis. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and wilt do that which is right in his, in his sight and wilt give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. All right, that's the verse there. That's your medical prescription. Exodus 15, 26. I am Jehovah Rapheka. Sometimes you see it in another form of Jehovah Rophi. I am your doctor. I have appointed myself as your doctor. Now notice that he said, whatever diseases that are in the world, I want you to know that these cancers and these different things, there's no new disease, there's new discoveries. People were dying of mysterious things years and years ago. Amen. I wonder, you want to testify? Come on. Can we testify? Amen. <sighs> There's enough healing in this room for you to be healed without the laying on of hands. <sighs> As the scripture says, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. I'm glad that the Lord is letting you know he is not always wheelchairs. Not always gorgeous on the outside you can see. God is doing, amen. Don't nobody have to believe but those that need to receive. You know what the doctor, and I want to warn you, when the doctor tell you something and then you go back, don't be talking about it must have been a misdiagnosis. They must have read it wrong. Give God credit. God can change things. At a touch, I don't have time to tell you the price I've paid. It's more than you can sit down and just start fasting and pray until you fall out, but there's some other things you must proceed before you can stir up the gift. I don't I didn't just fast so many days and God gave me this power. Now I want you to realize that I'm asking God. I'm crazy about Catherine Coolum. She's dead. And I'm really crazy about Benny Hinn because he carried on a ministry and whereby that in Catherine Kuhlman you were not allowed, not that she never laid on hands, they said that, to, hopefully they're getting all this on tape, that many times she died in 1976. She died of an enlarged heart. Her last, the biggest 
healing campaign that she had was in Jerusalem a few months before she died. Many times when they play that video, it's, you know, it's a video that comes off of old time movies, you know, video cameras were not invented then, so many times it's not good grade and not real vivid and not DVD and all like that. But many times when they play that movie, people, as they played it, they have set up places to play that video. And uh, sometimes, as soon as they turn it on, people, one lady was sitting in a projector one time and she turned around, turned it on, and then she heard all these chairs hitting the floor and turned around about everybody. The spirit of the living God, a dead Catherine Kuhlman, the spirit, see it's not us. He just uses us, but we pay a price. A lot of things we decrease in. I must decrease. A lot of prices we pay that we know, Mambu don't know them. A lot of prices we pay, staff, in order for God to use us when he gets ready. And I count it as joy to be able to help people because that, that's my way of really smacking the devil. It's not just a thing in your mind. Raise your hand one more time. You just had it in your body. Say, it ain't. Don't let nobody tell you it was in, your, in my mind. It was in my body. The doctor said it was in my body. I just want to talk just a little bit about how we can be healed. And in Catherine Kuhn and Benny Hinn, most of the time, he, he has came out of her ministry. She died in 1976. She uh, was on a, evidently for many a year she'd had an enlarged heart and the one that wrote one of the books Jamie Buckingham told that many times especially in her last few years I think she was 68 when she died that uh, when she would come in from a healing campaign that uh, you could see the dress palpitating you could see her heart beating so fast and so hard I, is you under great stress when we lay on hands or when the Holy Ghost our physical bodies are under great stress we are pepped up we are energized and we don't understand how that God is working through our little frail flesh to be able to generate the energy that can go through our hands and can be even put in a photographic way I'm not going to go there but scientific evidence shows that rays jump off our hands that the oil the reason we give you oil I put my finger in it scientific evidence has showed that if a person has the gift of healing an op unopened bottle of olive oil if he just holds the an unopened bottle of olive oil and prays that the presence of the Lord will be in there. They didn't examine it, and there's certain amount of healing rays that are more powerful than x-rays because they can go through anything. X-rays can't go through lead. Radium x-rays, radium energy cannot go through lead, but these rays, if the person takes the cap off the bottle, and praise the oil is richer in these here energetic rays than if they pray with the top on it if they put their finger in it and pray it is very rich this is scientific evidence but without that You need to know that God is real. Now he promised Israel that I will not let these things hit your body. Now, since Israel had this special promise, when these things come up on you, remember every promise in the book is not yours. So you are not going through the wilderness. 
in the wilderness, they marched 40 years and their shoes did not wear out. Their clothes did not wear out. They did not get corns and bunions and their feet did not swell and they did not get arthritis. God perfecta said, I will keep all the diseases off you if you do what I tell you to do. Now, because I got to jump. We do not have that promise, but we do have the promise, I am Rebecca. I'm still the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And though you do not have this promise that I will not let it get on you, he still is a position which means if it gets on you, every kind, any kind of way, he can tell it, get off of you. Because he's still in charge of healing. The devil has being assigned. The devil has the bag of germs and viruses and whatever it takes. And sometimes because without the Lord having anything to do with it, without the Lord giving permission or having anything to do with it, because the devil has assigned himself to be the prince of this world, not the king, but the prince of this world. And he never could rule. If the king was dead, maybe he could step up. But he has never been called the king. Jesus said he's the prince of the air. So if the devil is in the air, every sneeze, the devil tried to throw germs on. And I want you that are not sick to realize that if you are still healthy, all these germs, the same germs and viruses are in the air, in the food, all is eating the same food. Stop worrying about, they, 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 they'll have you not drinking milk, not eating eggs, not eating fish, not eating oysters, not eating seafood. They'll have you not eating nothing. No beef, no chicken, no fish. You, and then they'll tell you the grass is bad. Everything, everything been sprayed with herbicides. Everything been sprayed with insecticide. Everything been processed. Everything that had nitrate. Everything, every food you get. I don't care if they didn't put it in can. Man has done something to it that could poison your body, but God is still in charge of the chemicals. God is still in charge of sodium. God is still in charge of chlorine. God is still in charge. I don't understand why we say gold. Gold, gold is a chemical. There's a formula for gold. It's a chemical formula. The same, they preach about prosperity. God is in control of the gold. God is in control of the silver. God's in control of the calcium. God is in control of the iron that your body needs. God is in control of these viruses. God is in control of every atom, every structure of your body. God can rearrange whatever the devil has done to you. Don't accept nothing. Just because it runs in the family. Someone say, I'm the Lord. I'm your physician, says the Lord. Now I want you, this is why we tell you to give praise. If you don't have these sicknesses, give God praise. Because these people that had these things, it wasn't nothing they did. See, that question had already been answered. I'm finna come down and pray. That question had already been answered. God can do anything but fail, choir. The question's already been answered. Don't be holding it now. I wonder what they did that being born. Same thing the rest of us did. That same spirit, the man that was born blind, in the book of John, it says, Oh, Jesus. He said, what did he do? Now, this man grew up in this city. He messed around and felt his way to where Jesus was and came back seeing and reading. And when he came up, his disciples, no, the, the elders, the deacons said, they were voicing the sentiments of the Jewish theology, Jewish teaching, church, synagogue teaching. What did he do? Or what did his parents do for him to be born blind? This was an old wise tale. Otherwise, they're saying, listen how stupid it sounds. The man was born blind. So what did he do? What? 
could he do in his mother's womb wrong? That's what they asked because they felt like when his eyes were open, they said this is the first time there were great prophets like Elijah. Are you getting the Bible lesson? There were great prophets like Elijah that raised the widow's son from the dead, that caused food to be fed, that called fire down from heaven, and burned up sacrifices and destroyed armies. Say, but never in the history of God dealing with his people had the eyes of the blind been opened. That was equivalent to healing of cancer, herpes, and AIDS. Now, the reason that I'm quiet many times about when people come up, because I don't want people, you don't need to know what people are in it. I did, they just testify on their own, amen. But I want you to know that God, you want to tell nobody. You might want to whisper to me. Sometimes you have to tell me. Sometimes God tell me something. But I want you that whatever way I hear God saying, I'm still healing cancers. I'm still making inside garters. I'm still healing glands. I'm still healing prostate cancers. I'm still healing AIDS herpes in any other disease don't believe the doctor's diagnosis other to the extent now I know what to pray and I'm just so glad because I want you to I'm not going to lay hands on everybody I'm going to lay hands on the sick today and you that need a prosperity miracle but I want you to know that I can bless you for the future I can bless you that when I'm dead and gone 20 years from now that blessing that I imparted on you now some of you not here but chance well, let me tell you right now some of you, I ain't got no reading the muzzle of my mouth you done heard it and you done heard it it's time for all you that left here to get yourself back in here now don't go around mad at me and rebellious and stubborn to I ain't gonna do it And I'm saying that for your own good. I want to be to say in the devil face, devil, it's not the matter I snatch another soul from hell, I snatch another body from the hospital. I robbed, excuse me Gilmore, excuse me Russell, I robbed Russell, Brown, and Gilmore, and all them boys. I robbed them. There's another body they gotta wait 30 or 40 years before they get it. So boy, in, hey, hey, hey. I told you I paid for the price to be to rebuke death. People like Smith Wiggleworth that died in 1956 had the record of 11 or 12 or 13 actual dead bodies that he spoke to when they came back from the dead. And it's magnificent to me. I was talking to some young preachers from a certain church <laughs> back in the study. And I was telling them about that now they're pastor and they believe in laying on hands and to see the power of the Holy Ghost hit. And he had the nerve to one of the young preachers look at me talking about, I just got to talk, you know, you know how we get talking in the study, you know, preacher with around. And he just looked like, what? When I talked about I had seen the Lord raise the dead and he done, now, you gonna believe in the Holy Ghost. All Pentecostal people are not supposed to believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and the gift of the Spirit. And it just amazed me, you're going to believe that the Lord can make people happy, that you can lay on hand, they fall out, and you wonder whether or not the Lord is still raising from the dead. I've seen a dead person get up in my ministry. How many know that death can be in your body? And I can tell death, no, you can't take them. They, they're not going to be out of here 29. They're not going to be out of here 39. They're not, uh-uh. Mm -mm, they not gonna be out of here at 65. That's what he had to believe that he had to keep on telling him to say, I shall live and not die. Mm -hmm. I don't care what they say. Keep on saying, I shall live and not die. That's uh, that healing flow. Mm -hmm.
because of his faithfulness. Mm -hmm. He shall live. Mm -hmm. I impart life. I impart youth. Yeah, it's just a test. Mm -hmm. I rebuke diabetes. I rebuke heart conditions. I rebuke. No secret what God can do. There are all kinds of miracles done that you don't even know nothing about. Someone say anything. If a man born blind could instantly get his sight. Remember when people try to, he ain't, I didn't say I was no healer. You never heard Benny Hinn or Catherine Kuhlman or A. Allen or anybody that had the gift say that they were a healer. Benny Hinn won't let nobody thank him. He said, thank God. Because God told us all, don't take my glory. He always tells us, don't take my glory. Don't never, always let people know that I used you. And I don't know why. It wasn't because I was holy, holy, holy. I know I didn't do dirt, 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 but it wasn't because I was holy, 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 holy. No, a lot of things I didn't do, but that didn't make me holy, holy, holy. Something I was scared to do. Something I could look and say, well, the Lord just deliberately wouldn't let me get into certain situations because he knew I'd been a fool. It wasn't because I was all that strong. He just kept me from... Mm -hmm. He just kept me from getting in this situation that had been over my, over my head, over my... <laughs> On TV, I ain't going to say nothing. The Lord will keep you. I did tell him, I want you to keep me when I don't want to be kept. How many know, you know your body, you know how your body will act? Just look at it and in the mirror and say, God, I want you to keep that thing, keep that stuff. Keep it. Keep it, keep it, keep it. All this is being, tell the Lord, keep it, you made it, keep it. You'll be glad one of these days. And when the Lord pays good for those people who exemplify. It takes power of God. And we're going to pray for her. Amen. Give me, give me oil out of them. little bars. Well, come on with that. Come on with that. Come on with that. Come on with that. I ain't got time to look at that. I want them little bottles, I want them little bottles because I got especially rich. Mm. Mm. I want the, the ministers this time to lay on hands. Don't, don't put that on there. Don't put that on there. They're just they're sit up there. Don't, don't get my bruise. Yes, okay, you put that. I want your ministers to put hand, lay hands on them. Amen. Because this time I'm imparting. Amen healing virtue in your hands you know i talked to you last we last sunday 